So we're doing a tutorial on how to upgrade the uh, Ultimaker 2 with the uh, E3D upgrade kit. We've got the uh, Ultimaker 2 right here. Uh, I've got this honey colored looking uh, build plate because it's PEI and it helps with uh, adhesion for ABS. Um, and then we've got the upgrade kit right here. So let's get right into it. Just finished the unboxing. So right here we have the uh, E3D V6 hot end with the uh, carriage. Then over here we've got a sample of E3D's edge filament, we've got the wiring harness, we have the PTFE tube, we have all the extra parts that we need to make it work, we have the uh, Titan extruder, and our nozzle kit. This comes with a um, tool for switching out the nozzles, right there, a little wrench, and then a bunch of different nozzle sizes. So the first thing we need to do here is uh, remove the uh, print fans, remove the screws, so we're going to do that right now. Make sure to keep all of these screws here. You will be using them later on. Remove the uh, Bowden clip right here, this blue. And then what you wanna do is take the uh, Bowden tube removal tool. You can press down there and pull out. And there you go. The Bowden tube is removed. Make sure to hold on to this little clip. The next thing that you want to do is remove all of these uh, long M3 screws. Make sure to keep them for later. And now that you've got this uh, disassembled, you're going to want to uh, pop out this rail here out of the plastic piece, which is right under here. There's a bunch of connections in here that you have to take apart. I'm gonna take your fans right here um, and you want to install them on the included fan shrouds with the old screws that you have. Take your print head, remove these. Make sure you have your hot end oriented just like this. Facing this direction, all right? So that's what we want to have going on here. You need to add your part cooling fans. I'm actually going to take this, you guys can take this right now, um, you can move these other ones out of the way, and you can actually temporarily just snap this on for now, um, and that'll help with gravity trying to fight you on this one. Alright, so the next layer that goes up to this is um, the gray layer, and then we have our last black piece here, this is going to go right on top. Alright, and so you want to take these screws and start pushing them in. Now take your wire harness, it has two ends, that end, and this one right here. This other hand has all the connectors, so we're just going to connect those up right now. For this part, you want to take a washer and put a washer onto one of the M3 screws, and then take a nut and add the nut on, and then thread those all the way up until it's tight. Take a pair of pliers and go ahead and tighten that down. You wanna make sure these are tight. This print head's gonna be moving around, vibrating, etc. Repeat this process for the other three screws. Um, is you wanna take a, a nut, thread that on, and then add on a um, washer. Repeat that for the second one over here. You wanna take your uh, print cooling fan and put it right here. You may want to squeeze these two screws together. It helps uh, getting things fitted. And you'll have to move this out of the way too. You have your print cooling fan installed. Uh, you want to add a washer onto the threads and then another nut. After adding the bottom nut, you also want to tighten the top nut with a pair of pliers. Now that the top print cooling fan has been installed, we're going to repeat the process for the bottom print cooling fan. We are now done with the uh, print head assembly and we're going to take care of a little bit of wire management and getting the Bowden tube set up. Take the mesh from here and cover up these wire headers. So we've got our provided length of PTFE tube. What you want to do is take your PTFE tubing, push it all the way down. As far as it will go into the hot end. And now you want to take these. These come off of the, uh, the old Bowden tube right over here. So you want to take these. And then what you want to do is get it clipped on. 
you uh, should repeat that process throughout the entire Bowden tube right here. So there you have it. We've got um, the printhead all assembled. The next step for what we're doing here is we're going to be taking uh, the old extruder off and we're going to be putting Titan onto here. So the first thing that you need to do for that is unscrew this screw right here. Make sure to keep these screws in a safe place. There's one more screw right here. You're gonna to wanna to take that out. Now take out all four screws here. If we take out this last screw here, um, the, the motor right here is gonna fall out. So what we're gonna do right now is actually take the, uh, the fan shroud for the screws that we unscrewed earlier. We're gonna take the fan shroud out. All right. And then what we're gonna do is hold the motor here, right, while we unscrew this screw here. If we weren't holding the motor right now, it would fall out. Um, but since I've got my hand over here, we've got the motor. Go ahead and grab your extruder motor and bring that over to the other side. Also, you're gonna wanna grab uh, this part of the Titan extruder and the smallest M3 screw in this kit. So put that screw right through the hole in the top left hand corner and with the allen key press through that hole bring the motor around to the other side and screw the motor in so now we got that screwed in now we're going to add the Bowden adapter into the Titan and the drive gear and now the filament guide now you're going to take your M4 screw and the provided nut, you're going to screw that all the way to the very end. Take the idler lever and install it along with the spring and M4 screw. Now you want to take your top plate, put that on and screw it in. Alright, so you want to take the PTFE tube here and insert it into the tight extruder. We also want to test this with filament, so we're going to run some filament through it, and everything fits fine. So here's a quick tip I have for you. You can take the end of your PTFE tube and actually use a drill bit and drill it out. And what that'll do is allow the filament to slide in better, because instead of hitting a sharp edge, it actually hits um, an angled edge, and that'll just help the filament um, enter the tube easier. Now that you've got this taken care of, you want to move on to dealing with the electronics. We're going to be flipping the ultimaker over. We now have the ultimaker on its side. Uh, we want to move the bed out of the way that we have access to the screws that allow us to take off the electronics cover. So in order to remove the bottom electronics cover, you have this screw here and this screw here. Those correspond over to these two right here. So you want to uh, unscrew these and remove the uh, cover down here. After taking out those screws and removing the uh, electronics cover, you're going to have to take out uh, four more screws that correspond on the other side for uh, the uh, motherboard. So we have the main controller board here. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is take out um, E1. E1 is the uh, extruder motor. Alright. So what we just did there is uh, we removed some wires. So you can see we've got all the wires out here and now we've got the stepper motor free. So now what we'll be doing is uh, pulling out the old wire harness from the back right over there and putting in a new one. So we have our new wire harness here and we're just gonna be running the, uh, the those wires right through the hole down in the uh, corner here. I've got all the uh, the new wires here, so it's time to start hooking them up to the board. We're first going to start with um, this one right here. This is our uh, heatsink fan. And the black wire right here, we're going to make sure it's facing this way. So we're going to plug it in. There's a uh, little header back over here. So now we're going to be taking the extruder motor wire and uh, plugging it in. And this end right here, we're going to bring through here and connect to the motor. So we now have our cable right here, and we want to plug that in to 
a motor right here. Next connector we have, okay, so we have cooling fans. Cooling fans are gonna go uh, plug in right down here. Now we're gonna take the temperature sensor. This one says hot end temp and plug it into T1. And so the last thing that we're gonna need to do is uh, plug in our heater wires. All right, so there we go. We've got uh, all of our wires connected. Now it is time to tuck everything back in. After you finish putting the uh, wire cover back on and putting all the screws in, go ahead and head over to your computer to upload the new firmware. All right, hey, what's up guys? So here we have the uh, E3D um, Ultimaker master file. You can download this um, from E3D's website. I'll throw the link in the, uh, the description below. So we're uh, gonna go into Kira. We're going to install custom firmware. So we're going to go into um, downloads. We're going to find um, this one. Open this. Alright, and so now it's asking us to uh, connect our uh, computer to a USB cable. upload the new firmware. One last thing you need to do is um, there is a, a G code file that you need to run. So um, that will be provided in the description below. You just put it on this card, plug it into the printer and, um, and run it and then you're good to go. I'll be showing you guys a test print real quick. Also before you start your test print make sure to re-level your bed. Well, it looks like our work here is done. The printer's printing well. It is time to complete our build and eat our included gummy bears. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any feedback, leave it in the comment section below. Um, yeah, thanks.